Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In today's video, I'll explain about payroll costing and cost allocation key flex fee. Payroll costing tracks all your cost in occurred to compensate your employees and distribute those costs to journalism. Payroll costing integrate component required to accurately report labor cost and generate journal entries for your payroll run result and payments. For example, salary, bonus, paid leave, employer paid portion of your all payroll taxes are tracked and disbursed as expenses to your work structure. Payroll costing is used for posting the cost to the laser. What is the cost allocation? Allocate a cost by creating several accounts and specifying the percentage of the total cost each account receives. You can allocate cost at the department, job, position, or person level and at the element eligibility level for the priority account. Accounting cost at lower levels of the costing hierarchy requires greater maintenance but offers great control over reporting and tracking costs. What is the cost allocation KFF or we can say cost allocation key flex field. Cost allocate, allocation flex field is used to accumulate the employee costing information. If we use Oracle payroll, we can accumulate the cost associated with the payroll and transfer to GL. The payroll cost allocation key flex field is the basis for the accounting entries to be created and reported to track your labor cost. Consider all the aspect and impact of this flex field and its uses during your planning. The cost allocation key flex field creates a structure for the financial account of, the, of your payroll cost. The cost allocation key flex field create a structure for the financial account of your payroll cost. The flex field capture the account codes you use to create accounting entries and to report and track your labor cost. So next is a cost hierarchy. The cost hierarchy represent the priority of the different levels you can enter cost information. The level you enter cost is a key determinant in how the application build the account number. The application start with the lowest level or we can say element entry and ends with the highest level, which is payroll. Checking for a value at each level until it finds a value. So cost hierarchy labels when the uh, application builds account number, it, it starts with the lowest level element entry of the cost hierarchy and ends with the highest level payroll. It checks each level sequen sequentially until it finds a value. If it finds an invalid cost combination, it places the costing result in a suspense account. Cost hierarchy used to build each account segment. This figure shows the different levels of the costing hierarchy. So first is a payroll. Select payroll for segment that uh, sometimes change for the people assigned to the payroll, such as company, line of business, and future use segment. Here, please uh, note one more thing. To report costing by business unit, set up payroll for person in a single business unit. Specify a segment at the payroll level to record the account information for the business unit. Second is a element eligibility. Select element, element eligibility for natural account. You also use this uh, level for cost uh, center segment needed for the balance sheet accounts, such as the deduction elements, which are usually created at the payroll relationship levels. Next is a department, select department for the cost center. And uh, next to uh, select job to compare and roll up cost based upon job category. Then position term assignment. Select position if you're uh, using position management at your enterprise to better track the cost of uh, turnover to the enterprise. Costing uh, at each, costing at these level, job or position, uh, require higher maintenance to set up and uh, manage the costing in diverse and complex organization. 
Next is a, a person payroll relationship terms assignment. Select person to cost at the payroll relationship and assignment level and for the element at each of these level. You might select person to enable allocation of uh, wages when costs are shared by the several cost center. You might need it to override the activity or natural account segment that's usually enabled at the element level. And last is the element entry. Select the element entry to uh, override all your all other labels with the with one exception. Costing at the element entry label is overridden by the segment defined for the priority account for that element. You might select the segment for cost center at the element entry label to cover situation where a person works at another cost center for a payroll period. So let's move on to the application where we create cost allocation key flex field. On the home page, go to top right of the page, then set up and maintenance. Go to task area, manage implementation project. Select your project and search for the cost allocation key flex field. Launch the task. First, we create a structure, then a structure instance, and the last step is deploy flex field. Click on the manage structure. For creating new one, click on the create. Here, fill the structure code, name, description. Click the limiter. Make sure it's enabled. Then save. For creating segment, click on the create icon. You fill the segment code, API name, and name. Fill the sequence, then prompt, short prompt, display width, then column name segment and after that default value set Then uh, select the segment label to assign uh, special functionality to segments. Here choose here choose a segment label uh, depending upon which of uh, place you want to display the field called uh, company. For instance, if you want a department, you, uh, if you want to do do a costing by a company level, you can choose department and same as for element job payroll. So select here department, then job, and then payroll. Then click on save option, save and close. Again, save and close, done. Now we are going to create manual structure instance. Click on the add icon. Here fill this structure instance code, API name, name. Make sure it's enabled, then select the structure name. We just created BISP cost allocation KFF. It's uh, populated here then click on save 
save and close. Click on the done. Then the last step is deploy flex field. So the deployment completed successfully. Click on OK. Then click on done. So this is how you can create cost allocation key flex field. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching.